fundamentally, often in an effort to get everything done at three, we disengage from our heart because the heart seems to slow us down. Actually, what we could do is we'll be practical about this. A bit like at one, let's be practical about this and get the job done. Then we can feel our heart. So what happens is often is you have this experience where you're not feeling your heart. You're very practical. You're you're um, fo- you're functioning very well, but fundamentally you're not feeling it. So you're. Possibly successful, but not happy, and you're scratching your head, going, "Well, but I thought that was the whole—that was the road to happiness. Was you earn it? You're successful, and that makes you happy. Doesn't seem to be the way it works for a lot of us." This T-shirt says, "I'm only here for the shavasana." Um, last um, last weekend, I was in San Diego doing a, an, an Empower the Soul retreat. With yoga instructors, and we did something on the enneagram, and I just pointed out that、um, type threes, you know, shavasana is the last thing you do on the mat. It's where you rest fundamentally and relax. That's the asana that type threes will skip. It's like I don't need to do that. I don't need just to lie down here and rest. It's like I can actually skip this bit and get on with my life. I. It's, it's not practical enough. Does that make sense? It's like so we'll miss threes. We'll miss the shavasana. So the contract to rewrite it,、um, we have to understand that this happiness and success thing is something that we need to we need to work out a, bit, a little bit and see that really. Let's turn that one down. Thank you. That at some point, what we need to do is perhaps understand that. If we commit to our happiness, that's what will ultimately help us be more successful. That's radical, by the way. For many of us, it's a very radical thing to hear. It's not what we've been taught.